Hello everybody, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today I'm going to show you the process of making a soap called Patchouli Rain and Lime, uh, cold processed soap. It is a soap that I make with soap ball embeds and I'm going to show you just this. <laughs> The first thing that was done is that I made a loaf of a two-tone color, yellow and blue uh, soap, and I'm just going to take this soap and shred it. Once all the embeds are ready, I will put a plastic film over them just so that they keep their moisture until I'm ready to add them to my soap. Now that all my embeds are ready, I need to dust them, uh, which means applying a very thin coat of powdered mica. And in order to do this, I'm going to simply add some mica on here, I'm going to put the plastic wrap back on top and I'm going to shake until everything is covered. The micas are very volatile, so wearing a dust mask when shaking is uh, useful if you don't want to sneeze uh, all those colors after you're done working. And it's not good for your lungs either. So I'm using the top of a stock pot. And I'm just shaking for all of the mica to cover the soap embeds. This is when mica can fly everywhere. There. Next, I'm going to transfer the soap embeds into a clean bowl to get rid of the excess mica. Okay, so my light water, my oils are all ready, and let's dive into the soap making process.
I have marked at every inch both sides of my mold so that I can place my embeds where exactly where I want them to be um, because I have calculated how much I need and every time I cut I want there to be a soap embed. I'm also going to use a chopstick and let's start placing these beauties. <laughs> This soap is finished for today. It will uh, rest until tomorrow and I will be back to unmold and cut it. And my daughter Jadiane wanted to come say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she's on school break and she's very curious. So today I allowed her to come watch by uh, from a distance. <laughs> say bye-bye. Bye-bye. And voila, c'est prêt! <laughs> the soap is ready uh, to go onto the drying trays for about a month. So these will be available on my web store um, in about a month. As always, thank you so much for watching. Patrons, thank you for your support. I will see you again very soon. Thank you.